Hey, welcome back everyone. We're talking about functions and in this example video we are going to write a program that defines a function that accepts a dividend and divisor as input and prints the quotient and remainder as according to the example below. Uh, the function should handle the zero division error with an appropriate message. Then the main program is going to call the function to compute in this order 20 over 15, 20 over 0, and 103 over 24. And here's an example. It should print the quotient of blank divided by blank is blank, and similarly the remainder. All right, let's get started. Now, the your function definitions function definitions usually go at the top of the program, so that's what we're going to do. It's good programming practice. It actually might be required by Python to do this as well. So we're going to put the function definitions at top, and if you write more than one function, they, sh they usually go in alphabetical order. So uh, this function, we just start with, of course, the uh, define or the def keyword, like all functions, and then we're going to give it a function name. So we'll call it something descriptive, like my division, maybe and then the inputs go in the parentheses and we're, we're, we're going to accept two inputs the dividend dividend okay and the divisor like this then a colon enter then an indentation now what we have to compute is the quotient and the remainder so I'll just choose a, the variable word quotient right that's that's a great descriptive uh, word to use and we'll just do dividend then divided integer division, which is the two division, uh, the two slashes, by divisor, and then uh, I'll give some space there, and then uh, we will calculate the remainder. Remainder equals dividend, and then modulo or the modulus operator, dividend modulo divisor. Right. All right. So now that we've calculated those things, now we're going to print them. So we will say print. We're going to try to follow exactly the um, example that's given. So we'll say the quotient quotient of blank. So that's the uh, dividend. So dividend, when dividend comes in, presumably it's a number. We need to convert it to a string. So we'll say string, str, and then uh, uh, dividend, dividend, plus, and then uh, divided by, divided by, and then we need again uh, to fill in the blank with the divisor this time. So we'll put string divisor. Okay, like this. And then we will add to that or concatenate uh, is, right? Is. And then uh, then we need again to put the answer there. The string is quotient. The answer is quotient. And again, the the answer is going to be numerical. So we have to put string there and then we're going to just to be picky we should get that period at the end of the sentence in there like this All right so that way it matches exactly what's uh, given in the problem now the next thing we want to do is print the remainder and it's going to be very similar to what I just typed and so I'm just going to copy and paste and we're going to change this to the the remainder remainder of dividend blank divided by blank is and then we're going to give the remainder instead of the quotient like this alright so the function doesn't have to return anything right um, it doesn't say to return anything it just says to print the answer so there we go we've printed the answer now I need to handle that zero division error so I'm going to type try and so we're going to try to do all this stuff here and so going to highlight it all and then hit tab and so that's like a block tab that tabs everything and then down here I'm going to type accept accept and we're going to accept the zero division error there you go and it lights up so we've got the right we've got one of the errors there zero division error and we'll hit enter and what or we'll get a colon in there and then hit enter and what are we going to do if uh, we can't uh, you know do the try block we'll, we'll print uh, how about error um, you cannot divide by zero or something like that right just 
get the main idea across. All right, so that's our function. And then outside of our function, right, the main part of the program is going to call our function with 20 and 5, 20 and 0, 103 and 24. So let's try that. So we're going to call my division, right, and we're going to give it, and we, we listed the dividend first. So we have to give it the dividend first. Dividend is 20, and then divisor is 5. My division. Then we'll, we'll try 20 and 0, which, you know, is the uh, critical case. And then uh, we'll try 103 and 24, like this. All right, so that should do it. And uh, I'll control S, save that program, and then give us some space for the console. And so we'll see, we'll run our program, see what happens. All right, so we've got the, the quotient of 20 divided by 5 is 4. The remainder of 20 divided by 5 is 0. Good. Now the next call to our function says error. You cannot divide by 0. Good. That does not crash our program because then the next call is computed. The quotient of 103 divided by 24 is 4. The remainder of 103 divided by 24 is 7. Nice. So that seems to work. Now the last thing I probably want to do here, if if I was uh, you know ready to hand this off to another person or perhaps uh, submit it to be graded, hint hint, uh, <laughs> I want to you know put my put my name up here and fill that in, and then uh, last updated, right? Fill that in with the date. Give a description of the program, or I could say something like um, you know this. Uh, this is a demo of a function that computes division, something like that. And then, um, you know, inside our function, we'll say this function prints the quotient and remainder. It's, it's always good to describe your function at the very top like that, like inside the function. All right. And then uh, here's the try clause. So we're going to um, so we'll say something like try to compute the answer. All right. And maybe maybe we'll we'll say something like um, here's the quotient. Although we really don't have to because the variable name is des is descriptive enough. But uh, here's the remainder. And maybe this is our printing of the answer. Print answer, right? And here's our error handling. Cannot divide by zero, all right? And then outside of our function, we'll say function call one. Like that's the first function call. Function call two. And not to be outdone, function call three and we might want to make a note on function call two like like does this crash my program right because that's the critical case all right so once we've got that we want to control s and we've got a we've got our uh, our file named right our program named to something and it's located somewhere right here's mine here's my path on my desktop. So on my desktop I'll be able to find this program and uh, if I'm submitting this that's the pro that's the file that I want to submit. All right, thank you.